goodness. guys and welcome back to another one as you can tell I'm sitting on the side of the highway got my uh, flashers going like always scouting pigeon and uh, today's foul Friday I wanted to kick it off just in the truck doing my scouting because uh, this morning I got up got out of the door at probably 620 and uh, I wanted to get an early start on today's pigeon scout and sure enough I go by the sand pit and two big old groups of honkers get up and uh, I actually put that on my Instagram story if you want to go over there and follow me if you haven't be sure to do so but I wanted to talk about scouting a ton of you and I mean a ton of you have been asking me Bobby 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 please do some scouting videos and believe me uh, last year we did some good ones I like doing these scouting videos pre-season a month or two before the season hits and uh, kind of gets us all in the mood gives it uh, gives us those uh, duck hunting heebie-jeebies we all got the duck hunting depression going on but everybody should be gearing up everybody should be getting decoys gathered around and one of the most important things most important is figuring out what fields might be the best figuring out good areas figuring out new roofs bodies of water you know what I'm saying so that's what today's video is all about while we're blasting around looking for pigeons. Well, I'm sorry if you get a little bit of wind noise here and there, but we are out here and I want to describe why this year is going to be completely different from all other years, especially probably the last five years. This year is going to be a lot different, y'all. Now I'm talking about the Central Flyway. A lot of us centralized states in the Central Flyway, we got a lot of rain. So that means a couple things corn like this is going to be great just like it looks it's already taller than me our corn is going to be awesome so i always stress find your corn fields figure out which of your fields are going to be corn and see how they're doing get those fields locked down that's what i always stress get them corn fields locked down around your roost and if you don't know what i'm talking about roost big bodies of water that hold our waterfowl our ducks our geese where they sleep at night where they get off of to come feed in our corn fields and our wheat fields and our bean fields and our milo fields but corn is the go-to crop y'all with all of the rain this year the go-to thing for ducks this year i'm telling you and this is really a first here in kansas we haven't had this much rain for a long time right here all of the sheet water the new sheet water now a lot of the sheet water the small new new sheet water it's all gone it went vominous about a month ago but the big puddles like this one here it's massive this is brand new it's never been here puddles like this butted up against corn you're talking about one deadly combination especially in areas that usually don't have water like this in the fields kansas is usually dry every field completely bare bone dusty dry this year this is going to be different this year ducks i'm going to smash so many ducks on this water hole right here and this is just one of them i've been getting out and 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 going through my old scouting routines you know going down my normal roads that's one thing about you guys in your local areas that you hunt and you scout the same areas are going to be good it's all about what fields are planted what so get out there look for new water a lot of it's way out in the field you got to go look for it they're the deep puddles that are going to hold water just like this one this is the game changer for ducks this year might do some goose hunts over the sheet water like this but ducks ducks are in trouble not only is this sheet water going to provide better hunting opportunities against cut corn or cut beans but this water has provided a sanctuary 
for breeding. The hatch this year, I have heard from a lot of people, is amazing. It's been awesome. A lot of people are telling me that the hatch was amazing this year. Ducks and geese up in the northern states, North Dakota, Minnesota, they're everywhere due to the amount of rain that we got all spring. Whew, bad move with the old Crocs and socks today. Oh man, but that right there, that is gonna be the jewel of this season, y'all. Like I said, here in Kansas, uh, rain has been, um, before this year, rain was not in abundance. <laughs> and now this year, uh, the rain has provided a lot of new opportunity. A lot of opportunity that us Kansans are not used to. That's why I do so much field goose hunting all the time, guys. A lot of you are like, Bobby, get out there and shoot more ducks over water. Believe me, shooting ducks over water is one of my favorite things on the entire earth. And uh, here in Kansas, it's, it's just not in abundance like up north, like, like Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, heck, even Minnesota. You guys got way more public bodies of water, you know what I mean? So this year, you're going to see a lot more duck hunting over water, baby. Oh, look who it is. Set him a good boy. He's been doing so darn good. We've been working water a bunch. He, uh, it's insane. His ambition has just went through the roof. Uh, his, his sit and his heel have improved tremendously. And I'm trying to get him geared up for this duck hunting season, especially over water. Field hunting with old Fred is gonna be a little difficult. And the reason why is because the ambition from Fred on water is way different from land. Just like when I play fetch with him out in the lawn or out in a dry field compared to a, to a puddle or a pond or sheet water or a river the ambition is way different he loves water most dogs they do better over water so we're gonna uh i got my fingers crossed for old fred i hope we can really get it done this season i think he'll do it i think he'll do good but guys i know i didn't provide uh crazy tips that you guys didn't already know but it's a big reminder we've had a ton of rain here in the central part of the flyway a lot of us central states oklahoma Kansas, Nebraska, we have had a ton of water. So get out there, start scouting for them new water holes. Those areas that hold ducks, find them new water holes in them cut fields and you're gonna smash them, I promise you. But guys, I wanna say thank you for always dropping your comments for video ideas down in the comment section below. That's actually where I got this idea. I had a bunch of you ask me, Bobby, I need some scouting tips for this coming season. It's almost here. Well, one big tip, Find them new bodies of water and them old fly lines, you know what I mean? But guys, thank you all for being here. Like always, without you guys, I couldn't be doing this. If you guys want to reach out and help support the channel, go check out duckswaterfowl.com. We got some new dope hats going on the website real soon. I'll let you guys know there's a whole revamp of the site coming with a ton of new products. So stay tuned for that. But till next time, guys, subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Ben is loving life right now. Yeah. What you got there, Bob? Oh, look at that big old hump, Daddy. That's a got haul. Got a messed up wing, but uh, that's a brute right there. Shame, okay. that, that sucker. You can do curls with that bad boy. You need to. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL, got a girl that